Zwei Leute aus Dänemark, herzlich willkommen! Greetings everyone, we're from Denmark. We're from the Danish Fridays for Future movement. In the past months, we've read multiple articles and predictions by climate scientists. And based on those, we will tell you your future. The year is 2050. The sea levels have risen and six billion people have become climate refugees because of the natural disasters becoming worse each year. Most of the fish species have gone extinct because of the plastic in our oceans, because of the mass production. Our global temperature has risen with two degrees. People don't have enough drinking water, especially around Africa and the Middle East, and generally around the equator. A lot of countries now have a climate plan, not for saving the environment. That time is long gone. Now the climate plan is to evacuate people when the disaster hits. Here we are scared, scared for the climate and environment we are living in. Afraid of what we have created, afraid of what is going to happen. Will we lose our homes? Do we have to evacuate to neighbor countries? The anxiety and stress we feel about the climate isn't temporary state anymore. It is the mentality. Everybody thinks that we have hit ground level. That is, the black hole has no end. They think the worst is over, but it's not. It's far from over. The black hole has an endless reach. The year is 2030. The sea levels has, ri has risen. It's claimed its first victims. The original Maldives are gone, and they now live on constructed islands. We see a rising refugee problem of climate change, but the climate still isn't the main focus for our politics. The field and the scary miniature ice age is right around the corner, and the experts are at loss for words. Even though it is an exciting phenomenon, we're not meant to have an ice age that lasts six years in 2030. We're not meant to have snow in September or 20 degree weather in March. And the politicians pat their back and smile about stopping climate change by putting the price a little bit up on plastic bags. It's a green initiative, they say, and we hear them. But they didn't hear our screams. They didn't hear what we were yelling to get them to save the climate, to get them to save the environment. that few people can stand up for. Some people are giving up because here in 2030, we don't have it too bad, just not good enough. But now, welcome to 2019. We just showed you the two futures following the same timeline and all hope might seem out. All hope might seem dead when we look in the near future. But the future isn't hopeless. This future is preventable. Future. You are doing something. You have gathered here today to fight for what's right, to fight the battle against climate change. Because when we gather, we are telling the world what we want. Because people are finally listening. The politicians are finally taking us seriously. Only because we have such a strong movement and such a powerful voice. Climate change isn't a subject we can put off or a conversation we can avoid. Climate change is here and now. We can save the climate. We can give ourselves hope. And why does our voice matter? Because we are the future. <laughs> <laughs>